So why does your website suck? Well, it can be for a number of reasons. Today I'm going to show you how to get more visitors and how to convert those visitors into sales. Howdy everyone, I'm Kiram from Massive Effect Marketing. This is us, MassiveEffectMarketing.com. We've been doing SEO since 2003. Very few web companies have been around for that long. All right, enough of the introduction, let's get started. So we've got this website, CPA site. And let's take a look at design. So it's a pretty old site, as you can tell. It looks like, to me, it reminds me of the early 2000s with these tabs. The thing is, there's a lot demanding my attention. We've got this really strong thing here. This is really strong. We have this. It's a little overwhelming. I'm not getting the full communication. So what I mean by that is, this initial screen needs to be very finely crafted in order to communicate to me clearly. Um, a good example of that could be, you know, we have a big background image, you know, really nice and big, and we have one communication right across the middle. We do X for audience Y, or we help audience Y achieve X result with product Z. You see what I'm saying? That's the unique selling proposition. I want to see it big and bold, covering this whole space and a nice background picture behind it, and then a nice call to action, a button on what I should do next. People land on the site, they have three to five seconds before they click that back button. You need to sell them right away on what you do, what you're going to do for them, and what they need to do next. People are on sites, they're on websites, and they're just kind of in a trance. You have to be really clear about this stuff. You cannot put this much data on this initial screen. This is too much. It's going to like blow people off. They're going to click that back button. So you make it really simple with that really strong, big message across here, and then a little button to click. And then I'd like to see some trust logos, as I like to call them, trust elements. These could be certifications. They could be licenses logos of companies you've worked for, they could be memberships, partnerships, they could be awards like Angie's List or Yelp or things like that. Anything to show that this is a real company recognized by other companies. So you put those down here. And this is all within this initial first screen. It's called above the fold. As soon as we scroll down, we're below the fold. It's important to hit people really hard on this first screen because that's your one shot. All right, let's scroll down a little bit. So after we do re after we redo the whole initial screen, the next section down here that I would like to see would be an introduction. Like, hi, this is blah, blah, we're blah, blah. And I would like to see a nice photo of the team or the company or the storefront. So that can build some trust because it's all about building trust. I need to be assured that this is a real company with real people because people do business with people. So let's get that introduction section, nice photo of the team. And then I want to see services. All right, I want to see the services. I don't want to see something like this. What does this mean to me? Nothing. Nobody wants to read all this text. This doesn't communicate anything and neither does this. They need to do their headings more creatively, all right? If you do things like this, by the way, this is what I was talking about with those trust elements. They should be doing their sections really big like this. A big heading that calls out to you. This means tired, by the way, it's slang. And then a big heading with some text and a photo. Big heading, text, photo. The heading needs to sell the person on reading, actually. Like these headings don't sell anybody on reading below. You'd have to be very deep in the sales funnel to even care to read this much text. If you're at the awareness level of the funnel, you don't really care, you're just kind of curious, just like scrolling through, you need to be sold on reading the text. So that's why these headings need to sell the text. So the content needs to be redone here with these sections. You need to have some clever headings, break up the text a bit, and some more interesting photos. And then we're done. Oops, this is missing a lot. We're missing testimonials, 
Like I don't see a testimonial section. That's crucial for building trust. You've got to build trust. We also have a security certificate up here. You've got to get one of these. This is what it looks like if you do have one, right? Very nice. If you don't have one, it's going to build, it's not going to build trust. It's going to create a little bit of a psychological impact in the prospect's mind. You don't want that. And the other thing they're missing at the bottom is um, a call to action, a form, a lead form. Hey, request a quote or consultation, something. There's no form down here. People hit the bottom. They're going to click the back button or they're going to close it. You've got to give them something to do next. You can't just end your site like this. You have to end it off with a command. I just noticed they have some trust logos right here, right? So these, these, should, these are nice. These should be reformatted so they look a little better. And they can put them up here, as I was saying earlier. So design-wise, there's a lot wrong with this site. There's not a whole lot right. It's got a lot to be redone. It's definitely not a funnel. But let's take a moment now and look at some of this SEO things. Let's press Control U to open the source. This is really funny. So you see this up here, this tab. So this is called the title, the space. So the title is empty. And so it's just defaulting to put the, the website address up there. Usually you'd put your keywords up here, right? Your company name, the area you operate, your main keyword search. That's what you put up in the title. But they neglected to put anything in the title, which is a huge error. That's just a terrible SEO error. You've got to put your company name up here, the service area that you operate in, and then your main keyword. This is the most important search optimization you can do on a website is the title, and they don't have anything in it. So that's very important that they get that done. All right, other things are headings. Headings are super important. We call this one heading one. It's the main heading for a page, this guy right here. And it's pretty okay. It's got a company name in it. And um, I would just say to add in their service area, and that could be pretty good. Otherwise, text is also really important for SEO. You've got to have a lot of unique text. It can't be from Wikipedia. It can't be from some content generation tool. It needs to be written by professionals or your team. And you need to have 500 words per page. Google runs on text. The more content, the better. You need to be creating more content than your competitors. All right, so every page, I want to see 500 words. They've got a few pages on their site, which is pretty cool. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so they've got one huge page. Truly, they need one individual page for each of these. For instance, you know, if they have one page here about sales tax services, I mean, they have one paragraph about it. What if one of their competitors was so bold to create 10 pages all about that, various articles? Well, the competitor would dominate. These guys wouldn't come close because they only have 90 words about it, whereas the competitor has 5,000 words. So learn from this. Don't do this with your services. Make an individual page for every service and don't stop there. Get a blog and continue to write about those services in your blog. Now, it's really great that they're doing this. They should not slow down. This is key. But look, 2013, this is not fresh. All right, they need to get, need to get back into it. 2016. So it's very old. But, uh, blogging for business isn't dead. This is the way to rank well in local search for people searching for service-based companies in their area on Google Maps. Accountant near me, this is how they can dominate. So they should keep up with this. Anyway, there's a lot wrong with this site. There's a, a few things right, but a lot wrong. Learn from these mistakes. Apply this to your website so you can get some more traffic to your site, get more visitors, and convert them into sales, convert them into customers. So use what we discussed today. If you want your website to be properly SEO'd, then just come on down to MassiveEffectMarketing.com and send us a message. We've been at it for nearly two decades and we only employ 100% ethical SEO techniques, which is why we've been around for so long. So don't be shy, just reach out to us, send us a message, and let us know if there's anything we can do for you.